and into the fullness of Christ. Praise his name. Okay. Um, so let's keep reading. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Oh, I love the psalms, singing the psalms, beloved. My brother and I, when we get together, I I love singing worship songs to God with my brother in Christ. And I hope that you all ha have time to get together with fellow b believers and, and praise the Lord together. It is fun and beautiful and it strengthens your soul i mean it says it it strengthens how does it say in the scriptures it's our strength and so it's good to praise spiritual songs to god sing praises to him giving thanks always for all things unto god and the father in the name of our lord jesus christ amen submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of god wives submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the lord for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. That part, beloved, is very important. Jesus is the savior of the body. When you think about that, what a wonderful thing. He's the head of the church, Christ is the head, and the savior of the body. So when my grandpa was dying, Christ was there to bring him home, to save his body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved, has also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it by cleanse it with the washing of water by the word beloved he's washing us by the word praise the lord that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing so we see that the word of god by the word he's cleaning us praise the lord jesus said drink of my cup and you'll have everlasting life um, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love the wives of their own, as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourish, nourisheth and cherisheth it. Even as the Lord, the church. Now this part is amazing. I love this part for we are members of his his body so beloved whenever we're with our beloved brethren remember that we are each a member of god's body for we are members of his body of his flesh and of his bones so this is where we can look at adam and eve eve went to was brought to adam and she said oh i'm flesh of your flesh and bone of your bones in the same way, that's who we are. We are flesh of his flesh and bone of his bones. And his blood is washing our us clean in our mind and in our body from sin. And giving us a good conscience towards God. Now, does that make us Jesus and Christ were his body? He's still the one that died on this cross. <laughs> um, I had a flash vision of him actually dying on the cross on the cross on the tree and nailed to the tree I, I kid you not there was an earthquake under my feet and I had a flash vision of that and it was quite amazing so his flesh and bones and in Luke it says that he resurrected flesh and bone because he says touch me Phil to the apostle to one of the um, to Thomas doubting Thomas he said touch fill me flesh and bone hath not spirit and then he ate with them, but he could appear and disappear. He would go through walls because he was a heavenly body. See, the body of Adam in the garden, in the paradise of God, was flesh and bone. The resurrected Christ, as it says in 1 Corinthians 15, the Lord in heaven, his body is holy and heavenly body. He bore the earthly 
and shed his blood for us and his water came out also and he resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures now this is us he loves us like like he like a husband should love his his wife because the two become one so this beloved is huge in understanding that we truly are flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone while we're on earth that doesn't mean that we go and do things like Kenneth Copeland did. He did something very wicked and evil. Um, and I don't even want to talk about it. But I've, I've done videos on it. And our sister in Christ has done videos on it. Um, if you want to go to her channel, it is called End Times Apostasy. Apostasy. Her name is Laura, Sister Laura. And she's exposed a lot of wicked doctrines and wicked people um, who are part of the occult, I believe. And uh, have come in with every wind of doctrine and false Christs and wolves and uh, they're terrible. Anyways, kind of the same thing that that we do here too. For the um, you know we're um, holding up the standard that God made the doctrines of Christ. We're we're standing for the truth and um, in love, so that we can be built up in one body in Christ as he had intended so we are each flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone the same way that eve was brought to adam um, we being his he loves us like he owns his own, bo own body he loves his own body and you see that in that when saul saw jesus saul was murdering christians um thinking he was doing it for god though okay and when he saw christ and he was brighter than the sun Jesus said, why do you persecute me? Okay, Jesus is on his throne in the, the Lord in heaven, and he's got his glory, and Saul sees him before he became Paul, and he's saying, why are you persecuting me? So I think that Paul, based on this encounter with Jesus, had an understanding of how he sees his body on earth that we are one body of his body and of his flesh and he understood and that's why his writings are so beautiful to me because he understood the love of god the love of christ and the love of his people the love of his bride um anyway so keep reading this um and and know that you know we are he's speaking of his church he's speaking of the love that he has well let's read the rest of this one and then you could read chapter six it's awesome i've done videos on that um, for we are members of his body of his flesh and of his bones for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh this is a great mystery but i speak concerning christ and the church <laughs> Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself and the wife see that she reverence her husband. So he's speaking of Christ. So what do we do? That, that word there. Let's reverence our husband, Christ Jesus, beloved, because we are a holy city in him and he does love us. So give him praise, honor and glory today and reverence him. Agape love to you, beloved.